The host and the videos of this channel does not represent the U.S. government or any of the federal agency nor any of the branches of the military. It only represents itself as a civilian. A triple, a triple, a triple yeah. G like the beam I'm a dog off my leash, it's the motherfucking dog pound If you ain't heard of me, I've been known to dog my campaign And go up on the rampage, and everybody laughing You should probably go and tap in What it is, what it was, what it will be What up dog pound, it's Triple T I'm back again with another dog pound reaction So if you're new to the channel, go hit that like button Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we do a video here on Dog Pound, because trust me, this is one of the realest reaction channels you'll find on YouTube. I can promise you that. And please watch this video all the way through. Share this video. Get your family and friends to do the same. That way we get built up on the algorithm to make, continue to make the channel grow. All right, Dog Pound, y'all know the deal. Sit back, relax, strap your boots on, get your dog treats out, and enjoy the ride, because we're going to jump up into it. Today, we back at it with my guy right here, Mr. Tyler Garrett. Now, three weeks ago, he came out with a song called R.I.P. So, we're going to check it out. So Tyler, it's not your first time up to the channel, up to the plate. So you already know the rules. Enough of the chitter chat. Let's see what you're talking about with R.I.P. Let's get it. I like how he's got the acoustic guitar coming in for his intro. Nice long playing, nice subtle sounds to it. That's tough. I like that. Got the little visuals in the background. Okay, let's go. That familiar sting fills my veins, and that fire demon dragon seems to know my pain. But a life so fast just don't last If you get there first and still come in last place Ooh, I like that. He says that fire demon feels a numbness in my veins. Now, some people can interpret that a couple ways. Fire demons numbs his veins. He's talking about drugs? Talking about alcohol? So when you say demon in veins, you know, you, you most people will interpret that as a, as a some type of sub, substance. And then he said, even if you come in first place in life, you're still coming in last place. So is, this, is he talking about addiction? Uh, a little mystery there. I like that, Tyler. I like that. It's the same old bookcase closed open same If you walk that wicked path with no faith I was dead by the devil's voices in my ear And gladly touched me by just another fix Oh yeah, that's what he's talking about. He's talking about daggone some type of illegal substance, whether it's daggone narcotics or alcohol or not illegal. I'm saying some type of substance to cloud his judgment. He said, that devil's in my ear, right? And he was deaf by the devil's voices that cloud his judgment. He just needed another fix. Oh, yeah. We're talking about addiction. Hey, that devil, he can do that to you. Get inside your head. He make you think you can do all kind of things. And make it seem like everything's perfectly okay when you do it. That's why the devil, that's why your brain, your mind is the devil's playground. So keep him out. Let's go. Yeah, 
y'all paying attention. <laughs> I like that. Does his verse, this little bit of QC. Y'all paying attention? Meaning, hey, don't get caught up into the sound of the music. Listen to the message. I like that, Tyler. Come on, talk your stuff. He said, 135 hard days and me and my partner parted a ways and think it's safe that I won't go back. Now, you can interpret that two ways. Are you talking about a significant person, meaning your partner, or that substance that you've been using as a kickstand to help you get through those days? Meaning, is it drugs, alcohol? That could be your partner as well. And if you're talking about addiction, and it's been 135 days. Hey, congratulations. Keep it going. Don't stop. Because remember, every day that you're above ground, there's nothing in this world that can bring you down. When you think you have it that bad, there are 10,000 people who have it worse than you. And that's a fact. Let's go. Hey, who have I got to convince other than myself? Because I've got no friends. I left them all behind when everything went black. Mm. I was led by the devil's voices in my ear. Come on. Cloudy judgment by just another fix. Yeah, her heart went black as she left the half of mine. Yeah, R.I.P. Welcome me to the other side. Get Woo. Yeah, come on. He said, look, man, I left all my friends behind when everything went black. So, yeah, I believe he's talking about addiction. Meaning when he was at his darkest lowest and people that he thought was his friends, they probably weren't around when everything went dark for him. So he had that, that epiphany moment where the light bulb kicks on. And he says, you know what? What am I really doing here? They're not really here for me. So I'm just going to kick him to the side, kick all that substance away from me, even those who support it. And you got to do that. If you got people in your life that are not there for you and they're just there when you're doing the things that you shouldn't be doing, they're part of the problem as well. This is what I'm getting from this song. Now, I could be totally way off. You could be totally talking about something different, but this is what I'm relating it to. Let's go. Come on. Cloudy judgment by just another fix. Oh, her heart went blank and she left half of mine. Yeah, R.I.P. to the old damn me. Welcome me to the other side. Tell it good, y'all. My store. What's yours? <laughs> Yo, I love it right there. That was fire. That was fire. He says, Tyler Garrett, that's my story. What's yours? So I believe he was talking about addiction. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I took from it. Put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Was he talking about addiction? And if he was, and if you have any type of addiction, can you relate to this song? See, this is the type of music that people need to help us get us through those dark times. This guy's got a very strong voice. Very powerful, soulful voice. It's not all synthesizers and all that other stuff. It's actual, true music. And that's what I love about it. 
Anyway, put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I just straight crazy? But this was a fire, another fire song by Tyler Garrett. I apologize for the dogs in the background. But I'm going to get up on out of here. Y'all know the deal. Stay strong. Stay safe. Stay blessed. This Triple T with your Dog Pound Reaction. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a blessed one. Have a great day. We call it Dog Pound for a reason because we got a bunch of dogs around here. Let's go. A triple, a triple, a triple G like the beam. I'm a dog off my leash. This the motherfucking dog pound. If you ain't heard of me, I've been on the dog my campaign and go up on the rampage. And everybody laughing, you should probably go and tap in.